Next section is basically the integrated virtual appliance. Very pleased to announce the Cisco Viptala and we are now available in Virtual Hub. It supports transit. As I mentioned before, there's the entire SASE framework. There's built in resiliency. There's no hassle routing. So let's hear from a Cisco folks. This video describes Cisco SD-WAN and Microsoft Virtual VAN integration. I'm Nikolai Pitaev, Senior TME, SD-WAN Solution Team. Let's get started. On the left side, you see SD-WAN branch with multiple teams accessing applications in a data center. In the last years, you see applications moving from on-prem data center to Azure because of multiple reasons like cost saving and agile development. So the key question now is how to connect SD-WAN with Azure in secure, reliable and automated way. Cisco Cloud On-Ramp Solution for IaaS integrates CSR1000V with Virtual VAN. Traditional solution requires two different UIs, vManage for SD-WAN and Azure Portal for Virtual VAN configuration. After 17.4 IOS XE SD-WAN release, the whole interconnection workflow will be done in single UI in vManage. Before Cisco SD-WAN and Azure vVAN integration, the solution used Gateway VNet in the middle with two CSRs connected to host VNets via standard IPsec tunnels. We used BGP on top of it and OMP to BGP redistribution. The new Cloud on RAM for IaaS vVAN integration dramatically simplifies the network design introducing two CSRs in the middle, connecting directly to vVAN and providing connectivity between SD-WAN network on the left side and host vNet's cloud infrastructure on the right side. This is how the whole workflow looks like in vManage. First of all, you will need to do some basic configuration like providing your Azure credentials and generic configuration like CSR version. Then you will be discovering and tagging host vNets, then setting up cloud gateway and mapping vNets to SD-WAN service VPNs. Let us see it in a short demo. First of all, we will select Microsoft Azure and provide some basic details as account name, client ID, secret key, and description. Once we have the account saved, then we can spin up cloud gateways two CSRs. So we will provide some basic information like name, description, we will select the account needs to be used and two CSR UUIDs, basically two CSR licenses. Once we hit uh, save, vManage will go ahead and bring up both CSRs on Azure and integrate this with Microsoft Virtual VAN. As you see here, both CSRs are up and running. Next step is to tag to host VNets. I will be using just a demo tag for both of host VNets, and that will be used later on in the last step for interconnection between host VNets and SD-WAN infrastructure. Once I defined my tags, then I can execute my last step, which is mapping between Azure vNets and SD-WAN VPN. That's it for successfully connected Cisco SD-WAN and Azure infrastructure. So let me conclude with the following statement. You have Cisco SD-WAN with different transports, MPLS, Internet LTE, data centers, and branches connected. And now you've got public cloud, Microsoft Azure, with VMs containers on it. The question is how to interconnect Cisco SD-WAN and Microsoft Azure in secure, automated and reliable way. Between SD-WAN and Azure, there's a bridge, Cloud on RAM for IS.